Welcome to the class on a design of tuned filter in a HVDC system. There are different uh, AC filters are there in HVDC system. Design of single tuned filter. Here we are going to represent the equivalent circuit seen by the harmonic current IH which is generated by the converter. This is the harmonic current which is generated by the converter. Here we are keeping the filter. This is the grid. So whenever we are saying the grid means it has a voltage as well as it has a, some internal impedance. That is ZSH. ZSH is nothing but an impedance of a source due to the harmonics. ZFH is nothing but an impedance of a filter due to the harmonics. This current which is passing through the filter that we have taken as a I suffix FH, the current which is passing through this impedance that we are representing as a ISH. Now the filter impedance that we can write it as a RF plus JXF. RF is nothing but a resistance in the filter, XF is nothing but a reactance in the filter. This we can write it as a RF 1 plus J 2 Q delta. Again we can write it as a Z naught into Q to the 4 of minus 1 plus J 2 delta. Q is nothing but Q factor. Delta is nothing but deviation in the measurement of resonance frequency of a single tuned filter. Q equal to Z naught by RF where Z naught equal to root L by C. L is nothing but a inductance in a filter. C is nothing but a capacitance in a filter. H is nothing but a harmonic order. Omega 1. H into omega 1 equal to 1 by root LC. The relative frequency deviation delta F by F plus 1 by 2 into delta L by L plus 1 by 2 into delta C by C plus delta naught. Delta naught is nothing but a Initial error during the tuning of the resonance frequency of a single tuned filter where delta L, delta C and delta F is nothing but a deviations in a inductance, capacitance and frequency respectively. From the circuit, harmonic current in filter is given by the IFH equal to IH into ZSH divided by the ZSH plus ZFH. VH is nothing but a voltage at a converter bus. This we can write it as a this current into impedance of a filter that is equal to IH by YFH plus YS. Here Y is nothing but a admittance of a filter due to the harmonic. This is the admittance of a source due to the harmonic. The main objective of designing of this filter is that the harmonic voltage should be lesser with the filter admittance. But here the admittance of source is very very difficult to measure. It is very uncertainty about the network. So there are two possible representation of a system admittance in a complex form. One is impedance angle theta is limited. See here on the x-axis we have taken the resistance on the y-axis we have taken the reactance. Theta m is nothing but the maximum impedance angle here we have taken. This is the one impedance line. This is another impedance line. The angle between these two is the theta m. Theta m is nothing but the maximum impedance angle of the system admittance. Now we are going to select the system admittance such a way that that should be less than the maximum admittance angle of the system. The second one method is the, the impedance angle and the magnitude are limited. In this method we are limiting the both impedance as well as the magnitude of a system. What are the assumptions we have taken in the impedance angle is very very lesser assumptions taken in impedance angle and magnitude are very higher. To apply this method, we should have a very clear idea about the system impedance or admittance. Second method, here we have taken the x-axis, we have taken the resistance. In the y-axis, we have taken the reactance. The theta m is nothing but a maximum system angle R1 and R2. This is the minimum value, this is the maximum value. We have to select the impedance of a system such a way that that should be there in this region. Nothing but to know the value of R1 and R2 and theta m, we should have a very clear idea about the system characteristics. But in first case, does not require say, that much of idea about the system characteristics. In first case, the locus of filter admittance with varying the Q is given in the figure. See on the x-axis we have taken the g, on the y-axis we have taken the b. b is nothing but a susceptibility. 
This is nothing but conductivity. Now we are going to find the locus of filter impedance by varying the Q that is giving the half circle in this manner. So from this method, we can easily find out the optimum Q. This line is representing the filter admittance for harmonics. From this tip, we are drawing one more line that is nothing but a system of harmonic admittance. This angle is nothing but a theta m. This is theta m by 2. This is theta m by 2. Here we have taken the deviation we have taken as a maximum 1 by 2 delta m into delta naught. See this line, we are, this line we are extending in the same manner. This line we are drawing parallel to the x-axis. So this angle is theta m, this angle also the theta m. From this locus of admittance, by varying the q, we can find out the optimal q value that is equal to cot theta m by 2 by 2 delta m. This we can write it as a 1 plus cos theta m divided by 2 delta m sin theta m. So from this, we can find out the harmonic voltage at a bus converter that is VH equal to IH by YFH plus YSH that is equal to 4 delta m Z0 into IH divided by 1 plus cos theta m. The minimum cost of the tuned filter. The tuned filter is consisting a capacitor as well as a reactor. So the cost of this tuned filter is highly depending upon the the rating of the capacitor as well as the rating of the reactor. First we are finding the rating of the capacitor. The rating of capacitor SC equal to the fundamental voltage across the capacitor square plus harmonic voltage across the capacitor square into omega 1 into C. So this is nothing but a rating of capacitor to the fundamental as well as the harmonic current. Now the rating of inductor SL equal to I F1 square plus I F H square into omega 1 into L. This is the fundamental filter current. This is the harmonic filter current. This is the angular frequency into inductance. Now the fundamental capacitor voltage Vc1 equal to H square by H square minus 1 into V1. Where H is nothing but R of the harmonic. Harmonic capacitor voltage Vch equal to X into IH into Z0. Where IH is nothing but a harmonic current, already we know the value for the Z0, where X equal to ZSH by ZFH plus ZSH. This is equal to IF by IH. A fundamental filter current IF1 equal to H by H square minus 1 into V by Z0. Harmonic filter current IFH equal to X into IH, where X equal to this one. The reactive power generated by the filter branch at a fundamental frequency that is equal to QF equal to V1 into IF1. This is equal to H by H square minus 1 into V square by Z0. This Z0 we have to replace with a above equations. Finally, we are getting the one equation that is the we can get the cost function K equal to A QF plus B into QF minus 1 where QF is nothing but a reactive power generated by the tuned filter. Now we have to differentiate with respect to the reactive power generated and equate to 0 that is given the minimum cost of the tuned filter that is given by the B by A into 1 by. So thank you very much for watching this video.